First name 21, last name half uh, I got too many freaks. All right, let's get weekend league started, boys. What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Underdog Fly K Clutch, K247, and we are back with some more action here on Fly You Weary. We're here giving you guys some weekend league action. Yeah, that's the first time I'm actually sitting here doing some weekend league since my attempt of battle for clubs. And uh, that didn't go the way that it was playing. DC's kept your boy from getting out of the state of qualifying. As we try to get a pick there, but yeah. Just just stuff like this happening. It's just, it is what it is. But then it's like, we can still fight through this. It doesn't even matter. Got R1 wide open, but maybe more difficult for myself as the newly acquired Kittle gets on for the touchdown. And that was just easy work for the first guy. Second guy. We got this going on. Shout out to Ron 2 Wavy and Chad was good with it. We was live streaming when we was doing these weekend league games. So if you guys want to go ahead and make sure you catch up all of this Herschel Walker gameplay, go skirt! And we're going to the freaking crib. Never to be seen again for the tutty. Uh, you guys, like I said, if you guys want to see this live, make sure you guys go ahead and check out twitch.tv slash electroflockgame and the link and everything will be in the description down below as we play this lock of defense. Uh, but. Yeah, trying. I was really low on coins, so I was like, the only way you can go and get coins here nowadays is to sit here and uh, play weekend league. So you have to sweat and earn your coins to get coins, and that's what we was gonna do here on this play. And we just gotta keep playing the way that we uh, playing. Uh, that guy right there, Fallen One the King. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit him up. The music guys are listening to right now is from him. If you guys want these sick beats, but um. Yeah, just playing some lockup defense, sicking in that uh, big nickel, coming with the heat and dollar. You guys would definitely see. And oh my gosh, this man, Vic, just made this dude need to go see Nick Doctor. That man was just completely broken. As he's going to score again, as he's going to say, trying to throw the deep ball, but walk-ins. I don't know why his acrobat didn't even attempt to go off there. Uh, still with the Cowboys theme team. Got 50 of 50 as we got that man Dion doing his thing. Now, the funny thing was, I remember this man Dion was uh, upgraded as we go ahead and throw it to the other Dion as we try to get open field, get out there, get a little sticky icky, making this man hit to get a little sticky again at the end to get in for the 21 skunk. But once again, with Dion, I forgot that uh, Dion was actually like. Got higher overall on defense, so I was still rocking with the. I don't know what this first three was. I, I don't know, but this man was using Tomlinson as his quarterback, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm about to get either just obliterated, or I was just gonna get an easy dub." And he's the type of dude that was sitting here and fake hike. It was it was just weird, but second of all, we was sitting here. Okay, Michael Thomas, you just. just Calm down. Calm down, dude. Just just calm down. Uh what I was saying was the theme team was going down. I forgot that the uh Dion we could have upgraded him to do a lot better. So we ended up getting a lot better as we get sticky with Michael Vick. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm trying to tell y'all, we was in the lab getting a little bit more sticky, man. Pause. Yep, unnecessary. There we go. There we go. Just a little unnecessary. Just just force him to make the mistakes. And did put that cock on his forehead. I mean, you know me. I was definitely feeling it if I'm definitely saying some stuff like that. But you guys understand what I'm saying as we lead, hit this boom stick on this man. And once again, it looked like that was DeMarcus Ware that actually put the hit on him. But yeah, we definitely trying to get better, trying to get on the ground, and just trying to do a lot better in this game. As you guys can see, I definitely improved a lot. But yeah, you know, if I get the showing off, you know, your boy is actually feeling himself. Uh, I just got to keep this pressure on people's neck a lot more. And I just know that the decision making needs to be a lot better. I just need to know the perfect defense uh, for different formations. And I just need to have the better decision making on what to use or 
and what to do and then just everything is just going to be better and more fluent on the field and it's just going to be better going forward with me trying to get better at this game like I'm already at a level where I should be where I can really contend with a lot of people but for me to like keep that consistency and to not get blown out in games that I shouldn't get blown out in is just it's just a decision making and just getting back into the lab and just learning a lot more about this game like I definitely have a lot more room for improvement I just need to get that time in as we doing right now playing weekend league so why not here that's the first that's the first time i ever threw a back shoulder and someone just big balls did But yeah, this dude I'm playing right here, he definitely seems like he was the better man in this game. But I just got the luckiness on my side. Like, I threw a ball that should never be thrown. Like, I'm throwing one of those 49er reads. Like, th those balls that should never be read. I mean, just never should be on the field and just connect it. But sometimes you got to be luckier than better. Like, here, I put something out there it just didn't work. But, you know. Cheating this man! Keep cheating him so we can keep scoring! Stupid strong close ain't gonna win today! Stupid strong close ain't winning today! Come on! Keep cheating the man! Keep cheating him! Let's go! I want nothing but cheats in the chat! Just cheat him! Just cheat the man! Yeah, that, that, that kinda sums up the whole game. Uh I'll definitely be pissed too if I'm sitting here just playing flawless the whole game just like this. This is like a easy touchdown for rugs. But it's bad. You can never play like a flawless game and then just get rewarded for it. But it definitely feel like that I do need to play more flawless uh, football. So I never should be in games like this. But once again, that is going to the lab, trying to get with some people and try to get my mind better on some stuff I should be doing. Like here, that was a beautiful setup for the blitz but then look at the uh adjustments for deep like that really wasn't what we needed right here he actually had me in the middle of the field but a real bad animation so once again luck was on my side there he should have at least like got onto the ground and actually had a better pass but literally here's me making another mistake throwing the ball when i never should throw that pass but then once again getting another chance to redeem myself boom Get out there, throw a nice little laser to the outside. Just calm it down. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't get that? Wait, wait, we go, we go. Boom, I'm at the first down yard line. Definitely should have been a first down there, but because of the forward uh, progress, I tried to make a move or whatever, but I'm on top of the other dude or whatever, whatever, Madden, da 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 E8 is in the game, whatever. So we just got to get off of that and then get right back into the defense. Now, the, de the defense and the abilities that you guys see right now is definitely different after you guys will see this video than it is now. I did definitely change it up because I wanted to see a difference of um, what we could actually do ability wise so we actually got that changed up it's not a lot of uh, acrobats on the field we actually went away from unpredictable to actually do this change so you guys will definitely see that change in the next uh, videos for the next games that we can leave but hopefully that was the problem on defense with a little bit of things that I was getting worried about and just hopefully that we can go ahead and keep locking up like we're doing here 10 seconds left on the field he can't run the ball like he can again forces that bad read Really would have went to Dion, would have went to me either way, and it's just gonna be GG's in the chat to that dude. And then we're just gonna go to the next dude. We definitely, definitely need rewards from this weekend league just so we can go ahead and upgrade the team. Because my team is probably one of the most outdated teams, but still a high overall. Like I am 93 Cowboys theme team, 
but the team definitely needs some upgrades. Like, we need to get a 20 door set, we need to get both of the Roy Williams, and we can't do that without getting the team upgraded. So, we definitely need upgrades here as we get a little sticky icky with Michael Vick to get to the outside. Uh, it's like nice little baby stick, not like sticky that you need to get sticky here. Like, this was like. That was just him going back and forth trying to get the angles or whatever. That's more sick than what I did there, but it's not enough stick to... You, you, you guys know what I mean. As he tries to throw, he actually throws a laser. He needed a little bit more part of the field. But yeah, I definitely do need to get better in the defense aspect of the field. He actually played better defense than offense on that play. But yeah, definitely a lot more things I got to do. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of Flyuary. We d we was uploading every single day as we hit another one of Dion. Takes a huge hit. Uh, has some nice games out for Madden. Has some games of uh, 2K out there for you guys. Even has some Jackbox. Um, let me know if you guys are liking the content. If you guys want something different, make sure you guys go ahead and let me know. There has been some audio problems in the last videos. Uh, some of them was on me for not checking up and some of them was just loud for no reason so those are definitely have been checked out as we get screamed at by Vaughn Miller I feel like this man was using a Denver theme team which was actually pretty tough I don't really see a lot of Denver theme teams but yeah I definitely got to get better with decision making like as we do here on this play like literally looking back at it uh, Definitely could have made more first down uh, routes. Like, literally, we could have hit circle. Could have maybe low balled into triangle. But tried to go over top. And it feels like it was open for a second, but that throw is just not being made. It's just basically a, a touchback. But we definitely got to get better. I probably will not get any more opportunities to sit here and get a pick six, just like this one here. And this one ends the game anyway. I was being aggressive because I knew I was going to be the dude. But I cannot be in any more situations like that anymore. But, uh, yeah, new blitz coming out of uh, Dollar 326. You guys are interested in seeing this blitz and seeing it in action. You guys are seeing it right now in this game because this man ru was running a lot of gun bunch offset, uh, a lot of gun bunch. Uh, this is definitely a defense for it. You guys see the setup and everything. Uh, that was the only thing I had to use their left on that play, and I didn't even get there. But then once again, like I said, we got the box for it. Um, you guys want to see the video and how to box up with this? It will be in the description down below. Um, this is most likely for formations with like six on the line like five six on the line it's gonna do what you need to do but it's definitely not for gun trips and stuff like that like you really need to like pay attention to the offense and what they're putting on the field before you just go out there and put this out there because it is a box it's just not a box for every single formation but if you run gun bunch offset like this i'm sitting here setting it up the way that it needs to be set up and as soon as he motions up sanders is like oh it's over because you know we are screaming uh, it's, it's just a bad so you guys want that make sure you guys go ahead and check out that video um but yeah definitely definitely need to get the team better definitely got to get some more content for people out there after january is over i'm just telling you guys now i'm taking the main main mental break after putting out all these videos here in january it is a struggle to sit here and do daily uploads with the situation i'm in now I'm not going to go into that deeply, but there we go again with the stupid mistake going on here in this game. Like, this dude was actually decent, uh, but I just ended up finding a bag for, uh, ended up finding a bag for this as Chris Harris is doing his thing down the field. One of my favorite players on the defensive side, everybody calling him the budget ball, uh, Paul Krause. It doesn't matter. Paul Krause was still a goon as well. Stop getting on our neck. Stop making mistakes and we win in games 24 fucking 7, man. But yeah, when I sit here and tell you guys that this team is built for weekend league, it's better built than it was before.
uh, would I actually go out here and really be like, oh, let's go ahead and do this every single day for weekly? Nah, really. It's just going to be a struggle. You definitely need to use your 50 of 50 and then use your other positions really well just to put this on the field. And I felt like I did that to a certain extent uh, with the amount of coins that I had. Like George Kittle out there with one AP on uh, tight end apprentice. I felt like that was a good move. Uh, actually had Fletcher Cox help out on the defensive side. That actually helped out as well. Got Michael Vick on the offensive side because, you know, Tony Romo. Dak Prescott isn't going to get the job done. Randall Cunningham, okay, maybe. But Vick is just a better player in this situation. And now, Big Brain's move here. He actually has a pass interference here. But I couldn't make the field goal. And instead of him returning it and him in this formation, I decided to act like I botched it and go out to the right side so he wouldn't return it. That's some things that I'm just trying to do. Uh, mentally to try to get better at the game but then I try to big brains it too much and end up contradicting myself so that's where I feel like the decision making definitely got to get better like right there just go down right afterwards might get a fumble or something in that situation he was actually ready for the read option so we're going to keep it with Walker and get sticky icky and even though like I said the score is up here 21 to 7 but really in my mind the score is still tied as long as that does not show on the screen that his peer has conceded the game, the game is still forever tied in my eyes. Like right there, that should have been like the game sealer right there. Like after that, after those type of plays, you'll know that you got him boxed. It's like over with. And I just realized this man got Omaha, so he can see the defense that I'm in. He sees that I'm actually sitting here running this blitz, and he still, still throws that as he's just sitting there in that zone the whole time. But you know, right after that, we gotta come out here and throw the laser. I don't know what defense you was in, it's just not the right defense. It's like all work to just breaking Deion Sanders down just to seal the deal. But if you guys like this, it's the first eight games of Weekend League. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like, comment down below. Other games that you guys wanna see, other things that you wanna see here on the channel, subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, folks, Peace.